Hi there YouTube, I'm coming to you today with another review and today we're going to be looking at the da -da -da, Better Up by Sports Sciences. Actually this is a licensed product today, um, licensed by Nintendo, there you go, Super Nintendo. Um, this one is obviously still in the box, um, on the back you can see roughly what we're going to be looking at. Um, there's the bat there. Um, and the picture of the 90s kids with high socks and funny clothing. Um, let's have a look inside, shall we? <clears throat> so inside, oh, we've got the bat itself, and we've got the instruction manual. Um, now, I don't usually bother handing, uh, showing instruction manuals, but for the sake of anybody that's got one of these and is struggling to use it, I'm going to open it up to this page here and I'll hold it there, let it focus and if you'd like you can pause that just so you can see what you're doing. Um, this is the interesting bit here, the, for the various games um, they've got a little way to program it. Um, now it kind of explains it down here but um, on with the A button is if you're going to use A to swing, um, on with the B button is if you use B to swing. On with the X button, if you're sorry, on with that one if you need X to swing, and obviously last one if you need to hold it down for a full swing. Um, just avoids a little bit of confusion. They'll even give you a second page here if you come across any other baseball games that um, you want to fill in yourself. Um, so it doesn't just support the ones written here. Um, you may be able to use it with others. I can't vouch for that. I've only used it with the ones that are on the list. So let's have a look at the bat itself. Here it is. Um, it's got a nice foam piece on the end there, just so if you decide to hit your friend after a very intense game, it's not going to hurt them too badly. Um, foam handle. It's really quite squishy foam. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, I'm not really a baseball fan, but um, I don't know. It, it feels nice to me, so take my word for it. Um, it's got about 12 feet of cable. That is really, really long. This is the longest cable I've ever seen on a controller. Um, and they've even put a little clip on there so you can kind of clip it so it doesn't flop around too much um, when you're swinging. Um, let's have a look at the controls here. Um, obviously, this piece here is where you change um, the settings for the particular game you're going to use. Um, that's really quite fiddly. I had to get a pen or pencil just to get in there because um, I've got chunkier fingers. Maybe it would work if you had a little kid, but um, yeah, I needed something to get in there. Um, this can actually be used as a standard controller if you wanted. Um, I've got yeah, A, B, X and Y buttons there. Um, and up, down, left and right. I did try using it just to scroll through, through some menus and it's really, really awkward. Um, I wouldn't recommend it just Get a regular controller if you wanna if you wanna scroll through menus. Um, don't use this one for any games other than baseball ones that you need to swing with. Um, select and start. Um, the buttons themselves don't feel like they had a lot of work put into them. Um, they're basically I reckon they're just stuck to the PCB um, as they are, fairly raw, no extra padding or anything on top. Um, now, how does this work? Well, it's told me not to um, open it up. Whoop, bump the camera there. It's told me not to open it up on the instructions, um, but I don't really need to to figure out how it works. And here's how you can tell. You hear that noise? That's a little ball bearing inside. Um, the way they used to do these motion controls um, in a lot of cases was they'd put a little ball bearing in um, and it would kind of sit in an area and the ball bearing would move left and right. And when it hit an area that it was... Um, that um, yeah had electric contact in two places, it would register. So in this case, when you're swinging it, I'm guessing the ball bearing will, wherever it is, will travel up to a different point and, and settle off. Um, not the most advanced technology, but if you want a different way of playing a Super Nintendo game or baseball game, then this might be the controller for you. Um, overall, for what it is, I, I'd give it... It doesn't have huge compatibility with the games, like some of them you have to, you know, set the game to pitch down the middle, or you can only do it when you're doing home run derby. Um, so it kind of falls down flat a little bit there, and also the technology at the time with the little ball bearing is, uh, it's a bit, it always hits when you'd want it to, but the timing just seems not quite sharp as it should be. Um, but it still it does what it's supposed to do. Um, it's a it's a new novel way of playing baseball games. Um, it's a very interesting controller. Um, sports sciences were yeah kind of innovative for the time. 
Um, but yeah, again, the ball bearing isn't that great. It was before the days of, um, they call it accelerometers, I'm not sure, the ones that they have nowadays in your phones that don't require ball bearings. So um, I'll show you a bit of gameplay footage too if you'd like. Um, all right. Okay, here we are, we're doing ESPN Baseball tonight. Oh, it's the Home Run Derby, just so you get a bit of an idea of how this thing works, and I'm lagging. There we go. Lagging behind a bit there. There's a bit of a delay, which is really kind of off-putting. But as you can see, it does work. Still no home runs though. There we go! Woo! So there it is, the Batter Up Controller by Sports Sciences. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier was that I tried this uh, with a clone system, an FC Twin, and it wouldn't go. So if you're going to use it, I'd recommend you have a original um, Super Nintendo. Um, but it's, yeah, there you go. Interesting controller for you. Batter up by Sports Sciences. See you next time.